Hello and welcome to this A3 tutorial. I've had a request to do to explain the difference between line and phase um, voltages and currents. And I think the easiest way of doing this is to is to go through and kind of think about where some of this terminology comes from. So let's start with a transmission line. And here we have here uh, a very simple transmission line with our three conductors, and we'll call them A, B, and C. Now, the voltage between these points here is the line voltage, okay, VL. And that is nominally, in a, in a, in a low voltage system, uh, where, around where I live, this is nominally around about 400 volts. Okay? So, now, if that's the thing, where do we get this term phase voltage from then, and, and, and the line currents? And I think the best way of explaining this is to give, a, give two examples of a star system and a delta system. So if we, if we draw a... Uh, a a delta system down here. And we can connect this delta system up. <clears throat> so there's one point connected there, another one there, and another one here. So the voltage here is would be C, this one here is B and this one here is A. <clears throat> in a in the if now so this is our transmission line. This is our power system, and then this is this could be considered a load. So maybe a machine or or something like that. Maybe a three phase machine. And we'll we'll run with that. We'll call it a three phase machine. It doesn't really matter. Now we have this line voltage here, and we can see that. In this case here, between phase A and phase B, and this is confusing because we call it phase A and phase B, but it's line A and line B, so I'll try and avoid that. Between C and B, this point here, this voltage here, is voltage BC, the voltage between B and C. And similarly, between B and A and C and A. This is our line voltage here. Now, let's think about this for a second. If this is our load, our three phase load, and these are the phase windings in our load, this voltage here is also our phase voltage. It is the voltage across in our line is also the same as the voltage across our phase, our phase windings. So we can say that for this delta system, the line voltage equals the phase voltage. It is the same. We can see this quite clearly. VL here, across here. Now if we just pop over and have a look at a star system, for example, we can draw a star system over here. And we can connect this one up like this. Like this here. We can see that this between here, this VBC point that we've got here, is this voltage. We can see it here, and it is also here. Now, it's quite clear that these phase points here, our phase windings, the voltage across here, between B and C, is across both of these phase windings. This V here, this phase here. And the voltage of our phase It is very clear that the 
phase voltage is not the same as our line voltage. It is not the same. Now in a balanced system, and I've talked about this elsewhere, in a balanced system, that relationship is root 3. And this is where the root 3 comes into it. We're not going to go there at the moment. Just We're just trying to get the distinction between what is a line voltage and what is a phase voltage. If we come back a second and we look at the currents, we can th see that the current flowing through here, IC, ignore, ignore this for a second, okay? This current here is gets to this point and it is split between here. So this is our phase current, and this is another phase current. We can call it A or B or whatever, but we can see here that the line current flowing through here is not the same as either of these. If we pop over to here, to our star system, we can see that our line current flowing here flows through here. So this is our line current, and it is the same as a current flowing through our phase winding. And once again, that relationship of root 3 applies. So from this, we can see that the term phases and lines refers to what part of the circuit you're talking about and whether it is a star or a delta system. Now, one thing that we need to put into here to perhaps add a little more clarity is the whole idea of our neutral point. And here it is here. So we can take our neutral point here and take it off to a neutral wire. Now I've, I've said back here that we have 400 volts as a line voltage, and that's perfectly true. The difference between our neutral point and either one of these is 230 volts, where I live. And we can see that this relationship here between 400 and 230 is our root 3 relationship in a balanced system. So this is why we often call the line voltage 400 volts and our phase voltage to be 230. It all refers back to this sort of diagram here, where here is our 400 volts between our lines, which is our 400 across here, and it's 230 through here and 230 through there. Now if you're wondering why 230 plus 230 does not equal 400. I've got another tutorial on that, and so we can go off and you can explain that. Now's not the time. I hope I've explained it well. If I haven't, uh, please send me some comments or ask for a point of clarification and I'll reply on that. Thanks for watching.